Good afternoon, oil traders. It is still August 15th, and it's just quarter after four in the afternoon here on the East Coast in North America, 15 minutes or 17 minutes exactly after trading has closed on East Coast markets. And uh, as you can see, it was a bounce. Um, I expected to see a bounce, and that's exactly what we got. Um, fortunately, I managed to get in on the near the bottom. I bought my long at 4709. We got to um, as low as 4703 before the climb back up started, and ultimately we got as high as 4767. Um, I originally entered my order, uh, my sell order, to sell that same long position at 4777, which is the high from before our our session started uh, today. Uh, it was uh, thanks to the the European traders, but uh, that wasn't meant to be, and uh, I revised my sell order for 47.67 which actually turned out to be the high um, at least for now we never got a, a penny higher than that so i took uh, a 2.33 percent profit for 480 dollars and you can see that transaction over on my tradingjournal.ca account right here uh, you can see that was a five hour 34 minute hold um, and my hou for up um, you can learn more about the horizon etfs um, over on their website here. This is the HOD and this is the HOU. U for up for bull, uh, D for down for bear. Um, so I managed to get in at uh, near, almost near the bottom and managed to get out at the very top. So at least that was good. Um, of course, we could still keep going up, but I wasn't prepared to um, hold that long position in case we did drop back down. By getting out of it, it gives me the opportunity to repurchase that long if we do drop again. Um, I'm not making that same mistake from last week as, you, as I told you guys that I kind of held on to a position expecting more out of it and ultimately missed out on a lot of very small movements. So I'm basically just preparing myself to have the options to play this small volatility um, trading that's going on over the past uh, few weeks here. So if we do keep going up tomorrow, then I'll just repurchase my short position um, above 48, hopefully. And if we drop back down uh, to today's low or lower, then I'll be repurchasing my long, um, the same long from today, basically. Um, so basically, I just have more options to head into tomorrow's trading session. Um, of course, it, we're uh, 4.20 p.m. right now, so we're 10 minutes away from the API news. Uh, so that should move us in one direction or another, and we'll see what that is. Excuse the noise in the background, that's my new puppy. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then just play accordingly. Uh, more than likely we'll open, even regardless of the API news, right around where we close now. Um, it's what's happened in the past couple of weeks. And ultimately it will be EIA news tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern that'll dictate the real move. So until then, uh, hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. Subscribe to stay tuned, give us a thumbs up, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow morning at uh, 9.30 or ahead of 9.30 a.m. Eastern here on the East Coast. Until then, cheers.